Hello, can I ask you? Hi, can I get two uh, breakfast egg and cheese rollers with okay. hash browns and an orange juice? Okay, two egg and cheese rollers inside a hash brown and an orange juice? Yes. That'd be all for you today? Yes. Alright, 965, please. Thank you. Did she say nine? Hi. Thank you, you too. So we're gonna hang out here and chat a little while I eat breakfast, which is normally not uh, what I do on thrift days, but my house is getting a ton of construction right now and we just don't have a ton of stuff in the house. And if you know me, you know I love Del Taco. So we decided to grab some Del Taco today. And I also have an Alani. This is gonna be my caffeine. Uh, and we're gonna do some thrifting. I didn't realize that the orange juice was $3.29. That's why I was like, $9? It feels a little high because normally I don't get orange juice, but I just felt like it. So, uh, yes, anyways. Today, I think we're gonna do two stops. So I got invited to a new donation center grand opening in Irvine at the Irvine United Congressional Church. And it was at 10 this morning. Um, like I mentioned, I'm having construction going on. And so I had to help out with some construction stuff and letting people in. So I'm getting a later start. Um, but it says that the celebration will include a ribbon cutting, gift card giveaways, and more. The new donation center will be open on Fridays and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 5. It'll offer the city of Irvine and neighboring residents an easy donation drop-off location for their gently used items. I do have a second place in mind that we can always go back to for a proper thrift, but I figured since I got invited and it is the morning of, we might as well check it out. Anyways, enough wasting time. Let's just <laughs> get started. Okay, so we just got here and it looks like it's just a little tent where you can drop off your items. It's going to be at this church back here. I really don't even have things to drop off. Um, I probably should have come at 10 but like I mentioned before I had things going on so it just wasn't in the cards for today but this is good to know if you are in I'm gonna flip you around here if you are in the <clears throat> uh southern California Irvine area to be able to drop off your items so that's cool uh i am gonna switch gears and i think head back to a thrift store that i've been wanting to check out that was not open when i wanted to go last time so i think we're just going to i think we're just going to head there now and Hopefully see what we can find. We're here at this location and it looks like there is clothes and a lot of like home decor. Like last time I said that I'm still looking th for things for my room. So we're just going to go in and check it out. Is It is again another cold and rainy day and it is perfect for thrifting. So I'm going to take one more sip of my Alani flavor is actually really good um, and we're gonna hit it.
just having the worst luck <laughs> the last couple days. Uh, I think it's, I think they said Mercury in retrograde. Well, I'm really feeling that uh, the last couple days. Everything that I've been trying to do and film is just not really working out. So um, we are going to try a third location because I'm determined. <laughs> to give a proper thrift video um there was nothing wrong with this place it was just there the prices were more like antique prices as well as uh, i think the owner or the manager was walking around and i didn't feel comfortable like just outwardly filming and stuff like that so i I just got a couple quick clips, but it really wasn't anything proper for a thrifting video. We are going to try one more location that I think will be the perfect one. Uh, so, sorry for this chaos, but it's what it, it is what it is sometimes. Starting off this thrift trip a little bit different and starting out in the home section, just doing a quick scan to see if I can find anything to add to my room. I'm looking for very specific things and I don't know, I'm just not loving anything that I'm finding. We are going to officially move on to clothes.
mentioned a million times before, I am very selective with what I'm taking home. And since it is spring, I'm probably only going to be looking in the sections that feel really spring to me. So like the short sleeve, the sleeveless, the shorts, the skirts, maybe the jeans or the pants, but nothing in the long sleeve because I feel like I'm not really needing that stuff as much anymore. Even though it is a little bit rainy and cold here still, I definitely just want to look at the spring stuff. <laughs> for today I am completely thrifted these two items I got in Washington these little ballet flats I've had forever I actually think I might have got them at the Savers and then I just have my hair back and I have like a little hack to show you for dresses okay so this dress is like way too big for me and so I made, I don't know if you can really tell, it's a little bit hard, but I took two safety pins and I tied a ribbon through it to kind of cinch, cinch it in a little bit more. It's kind of coming undone now, but it's a simple way to just kind of make a dress that maybe doesn't fit or you haven't gotten it tailored, like cinch a little. So this is kind of what it looks like from the back. get into capris because that feels like something that I wore uh, in middle school but I keep seeing them everywhere and I might try I might at least try one on just to see what I think but I don't know I'm a little skeptical
Okay, so we are back from Savers. Finally, something good that happened. Jeez, that took forever. Um, but Savers always feels like a place where I'm going to find great items. I don't know what it is, but it it always, always delivers. We actually did bring home two things today. So the first one was guys i'm shocked capris are you kidding uh i did not think that that was going to be a thing for me i felt like i'm i'm over capris i wore them when i was little i don't know why these are back but i put these on and they're so flattering i was kind of shocked um so these were 9.49 and I don't know what this is. I don't know where this is from. This looks like it would be like a Target or a Walmart brand. I don't know at all, but I love the high, I love the high waistband. These do have a little bit of an opening and a scallop edge on the side, if you can see that. So I guess I'm a Capri's girl now. Um, wasn't expecting that. And then the last thing is this beautiful white dress that is a maxi dress. It's very cute. This is from the brand. I don't know. Never heard of it. Uh, feels like maybe it was from a boutique or something. And I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm actually going to a renaissance fair, a ren fair, um, at the end of the month. And so I figured this would be perfect for that event. Obviously, this is going to go with a lot of different things for spring, but I saw this and I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. In total, with tax, I paid $25.30, which... If you notice that the prices at uh, Savers, they're a little bit more expensive than your average thrift store. So I try to be very selective in the things that I get from here. But yeah, that was kind of a unexpected uh, thrift video. You know, when you have plans and then the universe says, fat chance. Regardless, I am very happy with what I got and am always thankful for savers coming in clutch. I want to try to incorporate some new things into my videos where I do more of styling or what I wear. I've been doing like just strictly thrifting videos for the past like month now and I kind of want to change it up. So let me know in the comments kind of what you're wanting to see. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you as always for watching this. If you are not already, definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below as well as you can find all my social media here as I post more thrifting and lifestyle content over there. And last but not least, I will see you guys on the next video.